move on to our next section, which is national security. And I do want to start with the security of our elections and some breaking news from overnight. Just last night, top intelligence officials confirmed again that both Russia and Iran are working to influence this election. Both countries have obtained U.S. voter registration information, these officials say, and Iran sent intimidating messages to Florida voters. This question goes to you, Mr. Vice President. What would you do to put an end to this threat? You have two minutes uninterrupted. I made it clear, and I ask everyone else to take the pledge, I made it clear that any country, no matter who it is, that interferes in American elections will pay a price. They will pay a price. And it's been overwhelmingly clear this election, I won't even get into the last one, this election, that Russia has been involved, China has been involved to some degree, and now we learn that, that, uh, that uh, Iran is involved. They will pay a price if I'm elected. They're interfering with American sovereignty. That's what's going on right now. They're interfering with American sovereignty. And to the best of my knowledge, I don't think the president said anything to Putin about it. I don't think he's talking to them a lot. I don't think he said a word. I don't know why he hadn't said a word to Putin about it. And I don't know what he has recently said, if anything, to the Iranians. My guess is he'd probably be more outspoken with regard to the Iranians. But the point is this, folks. We are in a situation where we have foreign company, countries trying to interfere in the outcome of our election. His own, own national security advisor told him that what is happening with his buddy, well, I won't, I shouldn't, well, I will. His buddy, Rudy Giuliani, he's being used as a Russian pawn. He's being fed information that is Russian, that is not true. And then what happens? Nothing happens. And then you find out that everything that's going on here about Russia is wanting to make sure that I do not get elected the next president of the United States because they know I know them and they know me. I don't understand why this president is unwilling to take on Putin when he's actually paying bounties to kill American soldiers in Afghanistan, when he's engaged in activities that are trying to destabilize all of NATO. I don't know why he doesn't do it, but it's worth asking the question, why isn't that being done? Any country that interferes with us will, in fact, pay a price because they're affecting our sovereignty. President Trump. Same question to you. Let me, let me ask the yeah. question. You're going to have two minutes yeah. to respond. For two elections in a row now, there has been substantial interference from foreign adversaries. What would you do in your next term to put an end to this? Two minutes uninterrupted. Well, let me respond to the first part, as Joe answered. Joe got $3.5 million from Russia, and it came through Putin because he was very friendly with the former mayor of Moscow, and it was the mayor of Moscow's wife. And you got $3.5 million. Your family got $3.5 million. And you know, someday you're going to have to explain why did you get three and a half. I never got any money from Russia. I don't get money from Russia. Now, about your thing last night, I knew all about that. And through John, who is John Retliff, who is fantastic, DNI, he said the one thing that's common to both of them, they both want you to lose because there has been nobody tougher to Russia with, between the sanctions, nobody tougher than me on Russia. Between the sanctions, between all of what I've done with NATO, you know, I've got the NATO countries to put up an extra $130 billion, going to $420 billion a year. That's to guard against Russia. I sold, while he was selling pillows and sheets, I sold tank busters to Ukraine. There has been nobody tougher than, on Russia than Donald Trump. And I'll tell you, they were so bad. They took over the, the submarine port. You remember that very well. During your term, during you and Barack Obama, they took over a big part of what should have been Ukraine. You handed it to them. But you were getting a lot of money from Russia. They were paying you a lot of money, and they probably still are. But now, with what came out today, it's even worse. All of the emails, the emails, the horrible emails of the kind of money that you were raking in, you and your family, and, Joe, you were vice president when some of this was happening, and it should have never happened. And I think you owe an explanation to the American people. Why is it somebody just had a news conference a little while ago who was essentially supposed to work with you and your family, but what he said was damning. And regardless of me, I think you have to clean it up and talk to the American people. Maybe you can do it right now. Vice President Biden, you may respond. In 30 seconds. And then I do I, want to follow up on the election security. I have not taken a penny from any foreign source ever in my life. We learned that this president 
paid 50 times the tax in China, has a secret bank account with China, does business in China, and in fact is talking about me taking money. I have not taken a single penny from any country whatsoever, ever, number one. Number two, this is a president, I have released all of my tax returns, 22 years, go look at them, 22 years of my tax return. You have not released a single solitary year of your tax return. What are you hiding? Why are you unwilling? The foreign countries are paying you a lot. Russia's paying you a lot. China's paying you a lot. And your hotels and all your businesses all around the country, all around the world. And China's building a new road to a new ga a, a, a golf course you have overseas. So what's going on here? Why don't release your tax return or stop talking about corruption? President Trump, your response. First of all, I called my accountants, underwrote it. I'm going to release them as soon as we can. I want to do it. And it'll show how successful, how great this company is. But much more importantly than that, people were saying $750. I asked them a week ago, I said, what did I pay? They said, sir, you prepaid tens of millions of dollars. I prepaid my tax. Tens over the last number of years. Tens of millions of dollars I prepaid. Because at some point they think it's an estimate. They think I may have to pay tax. So I already prepaid it. Nobody told me that. Did your account Nobody tell told you, you that. You Excuse them? me. And it wasn't written whenever they write this. They keep talking about $750, which I think is a filing fee. But let me just tell you. I prepaid millions and millions of dollars in taxes, number one. Number two, I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. I don't make money from Russia. You made three and a half million dollars, Joe, and your son gave you. They even have a statement that we have to give 10 percent to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10 percent to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? It's terrible. All right, gentlemen, I it's want to a, ask you both some questions about all of this. To that. I'm going to let you both respond very quickly. You just said you spoke to your accountant yes. about potentially yes. releasing your taxes. Did he tell you when you can release them? Do you as have a the deadline for when you're going to release them? I get American treated people? worse than the Tea Party got treated because I have a lot have of people in there. Yeah. Deep down in the IRS, they treat me horribly. We made a deal, it was all settled until I decide to run for president. I get treated very badly by the IRS, very unfairly. But we had a deal all done. As soon as we're completed with the deal, I want to release it. But I have paid millions and millions of dollars, and I, it's worse than paying. I paid in advance. It's called prepaying your taxes. Okay. I paid in advance. I want to ask you sure. both about questions regarding your potential foreign entanglements and questions that have been raised to give you both a chance Some to talk about, about this more broadly. Respond very quickly, and then I'll get to my question. Why did he, he's been saying this for four years? Show us. Just show us. Stop playing around. You've been saying for four Everybody years you're going to release your taxes. Nobody knows, Mr. President. What they do okay. know is you're not paying your taxes or you're paying taxes that are so low. When last time he said what he paid, he said, I only pay that little because I'm smart. I know how to game the system. Come on. Come on, folks. So, President Trump, and then I want to get to two questions to both of you sure. on this. I was put through a phony witch hunt for three years. It started before I even got elected. They spied on my campaign. No president should ever have to go through what I went through. Let me just say this. Mueller and 18 angry Democrats and FBI agents all over the place spent $48 million. They went through everything I had, including my tax returns, and they found absolutely no collusion and nothing wrong. 48 million. I guarantee you, if I spent 1 million on you, Joe, I could find plenty wrong. Because right. the kind of things that you've done and the kind of monies that your family has taken, I mean, your brother made money in Iraq, me millions of dollars. Your other bro brother made a fortune. And it's all through you, Joe. And they say you get some of it. And you do live very well. You have houses all over the place. You live very well. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, let me just ask oh, some man. questions about all of this broadly. Vice President Biden, there have been questions about the work your son has done in China and for a Ukrainian energy company when you were vice president. In retrospect, was anything about those relationships inappropriate or unethical? Nothing was unethical. Here's what the deal. With regard to Ukraine, we had this whole question about whether or not, because he was on the board, I later learned of a Burisma, a company, that somehow I had done something wrong. 
Yet every single solitary person when he was going through his impeachment, testifying under oath who worked for him, said, I did my job impeccably. I carried out U.S. policy. Not one single solitary thing was out of line. Not a single thing, number one. Number two, the guy who got in trouble in Ukraine was this guy trying to bribe the Ukrainian government to say something negative about me, which they would not do and did not do because it never, ever, ever happened. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. I have not had, a, the only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. Never President Trump, deal, deal with let China. me, let me ask way, my question to you. But could I just one, one thing? Very quickly. His son didn't have a job for a long time, was sadly no longer in the military service. I won't get into that. And he didn't have a job. As soon as he became vice president, Burisma, not the best, look, not the best reputation in the world, I hear they paid him 183,000 a month. Listen to this, 183, and they gave him a three million dollar upfront payment. All right. And he had no I'm, energy. I'm going to let the vice president That's respond to that quickly, and then dishonest. I need to get to a question to you. Very. No quickly, basis for that. Everybody investigated that. No one said anything he did was wrong in Ukraine. 